piece of Canadian history is ship shape and ready to weigh anchor. For the past few years, the Keewatin has been in the care of an American boat lover, but some now want the ship to make the journey home. Here's our Rob Left now with that story. Built in the same shipyard as the Titanic, the Keewatin helped open up central Canada to early settlers. Now a floating museum, her history is rich and celebrated in song. The most beautiful girl I'd ever seen, the mighty ship Keewatin. Destined for the same fate as the rest of the fleet that traveled the Great Lakes, the 350-foot steamship was rescued from the scrapyard by American R.J. Peterson. And thanks to him, the Key Wanton looks just as fit to sail from Port McNichol to Thunder Bay today as she did 100 years ago. My work is make sure the roof don't leak, so things make sure that the engine, something doesn't freeze up and sink, yeah. make sure that the wiring is safe, make sure that we bring in enough money from other operations to take care of the maintenance. And for this former crew member, visiting the Key Wanton is a trip down memory lane. It was uh, maintained in a British style, Bristol fashion. All of the brass was polished, the white panels were cleaned every week. Uh, it was just a glorious ship. The SS Key Wanton was retired in 1965 before making her final voyage to her current port here in Douglas, Michigan in 1967. And now, 40 years later, a Canadian developer is hoping to bring the ship back across the border. We negotiating to bring back this uh, grand old lady of the lakes back to Port McMichael. We're working on that for more over a year. And uh, we, as you see, we continue to do many, many efforts uh, to bring this ship back home to Canada. He's so confident, in fact, that he's already included the key one in his marketing campaign for the historic village. But the big question is, will Peterson, now 80 years old, be willing to part with the ship? All the doors are open. I listen to everybody, keep records, make notes, and then we see how it plays out. And if it is moved, Port McNichol may have some competition. There are many uh, good locations. Port Nic uh, McNichol is one, certainly. I know in Thunder Bay people are very interested uh, in this particular project and this particular ship. A ship that's already looking ahead to her next 100 years. Rob Leff, Global News. Anthony's here with another check of the forecast. We still have some uh, watches in place. We do, actually, and this is the area I'm concerned about.